everyone, Steven here from Radolescence and welcome to my collaboration video on the top summer fragrances for the year 2015. I got together with some fellow YouTube fragrance reviewers and a bunch of my subscribers and we put together this video for you so I sincerely hope you enjoy our selections. Please make sure you grab a pen and paper and write some of these down. You may discover a scent that you've never heard of before that you might end up absolutely loving. So uh, I have some recommendations. We have a lot of great recommendations. So thank you for watching this video and I don't want to take up too much of your time so let me go ahead and tell you what the one fragrance is that I am looking forward to so much to wearing this year. It's by the company Eau de Tali and the fragrance itself is called Aqua Decima. I know I have spoken about this fragrance before but I cannot say enough good things about it. This fragrance to me smells like a mojito. It has mint, it has vetiver, it has some citrus in there. It just smells so rich and natural and authentic. There's another fragrance out there that smells quite similar to it, 1861 by Zerjoff. The only thing is that I find this to be a little bit a little bit not as well blended but for that reason it's a little more raw if that makes any sense. And this one is also a little bit cheaper than 1861, so that's a bonus. So this is one I can't wait to wear. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you write down the next fragrances. I think you might absolutely love some of them. So thank you for watching. Without further ado, let's move on to the next guy. Hello everyone, Max Forte here from uh, the Emporium of Scents to do another collaboration video, this time with one of my favorite reviewers of all time, Steven from Adolescent. Steven, thank you so much for putting this together. This is really nice uh, summer collaboration, and I'm going to give you guys two uh, compositions. One is going to be a designer, and the other one is going to be a niche. These are going to be the two fragrances that I'm going to be most rocking this summer season. Uh, one of them is one of Feel Happy, um, amazing scent, fresh cut lemons, amazing bergamot Norelli here. Of course, I'm talking about Dior Homme Cologne. This is unbelievable juice, guys. I put it down in this bottle, and by the end of the summer, it's probably going to be um, halfway because I'm going to be wearing this a lot. This is Dumb Reach, Feel Good, Feel Happy, Smell Great, Compliment Getter Fragrance. The other one is a niche, a little pricey, but amazing natural Neroli Bergamot smelling fragrance. Probably one of the best uh, Neroli Bergamot explosion fragrances out there. The most natural and incredibly performance. Uh, of course, I'm talking about Zerjoff Neo. This is a great juice, guys. If you like Bergamot and Neroli, this is a bomb and it smells amazing. So these are my two picks. Again, thank you so much, Stephen, for putting this together. Stay tuned, guys. Uh, on to the next reviewer, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Enjoy the summer. Hey, what's up, Stephen? It's Judd. Thanks for putting together this collaboration for the top fragrances of summer 2015. This summer, I'm going to be reaching for Dior's Aqua Fahrenheit. You're going to get a blast of fresh, juicy, and authentic grapefruit before it moves into that typical Fahrenheit DNA. You're going to get your violet, your leather, to a petroleum smell and it's awesome it's a great blend it lasts all day it projects well it's going to be unique yet refreshing guys this is my number one for summer 2015 aqua fahrenheit by christian dior thanks hey everybody it's travis zenobia sense uh doing this video for my buddy steven uh top summer fragrance for me this year is going to be just like on my uh, top summer list 1861 Renaissance uh, beautiful fragrance citrus mint pedigree Zerjoff just does it right it is a it is a wonderful fragrance citrus uh, cooling refreshing it is just it is just macking and uh, that is going to be my number one for summer this year so get your nose on it guys if you haven't and uh, that's pretty much well it. On to the next person. I hate to take your time. Hello everyone, I'm Carlos from YouTube channel Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thank you so much Stephen for inviting me to be a part of this collaboration. I'm honored and very happy to be a part of it. So what I'm looking forward to wearing this summer is from an Italian house called I Profumi de Parenza, Brezza de Mare, which means ocean breeze. It has marine notes, rose, geranium, white musk, white flowers, and vanilla. A nice, easy-going, salty sea air vibe. As a matter of fact, I was off today, and I went to the beach, and yep, it was my scent of the day. This has been around since 2002, and it will run you 88 bucks for a 50 mil bottle. Well, that's my choice for what I'm looking forward to wearing this summer. On to the next guy. 
Guys, what is up? Maximilian from Maximilian Must Know here. Really happy to participate in Steven's summer collaboration video. And I'm gonna do something a little unprecedented. I'm actually gonna re uh, recommend two aftershave slash colognes from the House of Phoenix Artists and Accoutrement. No one like them is blurring the line between aftershave and what I think is niche scent. The perfumer is absolutely brilliant on these. They're all $20 on their site or very close to $20. Alf Finn is an interpretation of a classic aftershave called Alf Innsbruck. It's mainly centered around menthol and tobacco. It is gorgeous. And Tombstone has notes of gunpowder, leather, tobacco, geranium, bergamot, and rose. I think Phoenix Coutremont makes the best aftershaves in the world. When I put these on in the evening, they usually last throughout the evening. And don't be surprised if you see Maximilian Must Know and Phoenix Artists and Accoutrement doing something in the future. Please check these out, guys. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. You will see that there are perfumers out there making aftershaves that have the quality that we've come to expect from wonderful niche fragrances. So guys, hope you're happy with my picks. Steven, thanks for uh, having me and off to the next reviewer we go. One. Hi guys, it's Mama Cannoli back here and Joey's gonna tell us all about his new scent. It's not new. I've had this for like two months. Well, they don't know that. This is my number one cologne for the summer. It was named after my mom and it's called Dirty and it's from Lush. And uh, <laughs> it's been inspired by Dirty Nights. Joey, stop lying to everybody. It was named after you for your mouth. Dirty. Ha! Yes. A cool, refreshing wave of a silver tongue making your girlfriend love it. Here's what we do. Oh, this is my girlfriend right here. Hi. So, yeah. This is how we get down nowadays. All we kinds of... Bottles. Yeah, it looks like Windex and uh, 6.7 ounce... It's a recyclable container. It's against animal testing. And it's cruelty free. So think of that. Think of that, Giorgio <laughs> Armani, killing the rabbits and shit. Maz, anything you like? That. Anything you like to say? Bye, guys. You're, uh, you're, Bye. And that's that's my number one. It's minty. Yeah. Hello, Donaris Montalvo here, and thank you, Steven, for letting me be part of this collaboration. And for this summer, I'm gonna use Leo Dice for Om by Isi Miyaki and for the night I'm gonna use Allure Home Edition Blanche and for special occasions Tom Ford Grey Petty Bear. Thank you very much. See you. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm happy to be participating in Stephen Redolescence's video uh, with scents that I like, scents and fragrances that will be suitable and are suitable for the summer. Uh, I have the scent here from the house of Healy. It's called Sel Marine. Now Sel Marine, it's a very sea salty, it's kind of got this raw nautical type of a scent to it, which is perfect for the summer because it just evokes the emotion of fresh air, summer breeze, the sea scent, the sea saltiness coming off of the ocean, and it's just magnificent in that, in that aspect. So I personally love sea scents because they give that off that emotion, they, and they also give a, a carefree type of vibe to it. And for that reason, Cell Marine is a perfect scent that you really should check out. For the All right, take care, guys. Hello, guys. This is Eddie from Argentina. First of all, uh, thank you, Stephen, from letting me be part of this collaboration video uh, so my main pick for the summer would be a fragrance from an Argentinian niche house called Fueguilla and it would be this guy right here it's called Humboldt this has only three notes the notes are uh, bergamot, passion fruit and tangerine it's a really long lasting fragrance very potent and very high quality all these Fuigia scents are really high quality, so I recommend you check the ones you can. Okay, thank you for watching. Hey guys, my name is Chad. Channel name, A Gentleman's Journey. Used to be the everyday man. So my uh, my pick for this summer, I really like this one. So I got this one last year, and when I first tried it, I was like, eh, it's okay, but I really learned to love this one. And it's a simple design of fragrance, and that is Kenneth Cole Mankind. It's got pineapple, oak moss, Vetiver, musk, uh, tonka bean, and other great notes. Uh, it's an aromatic woody, I believe. Very fresh with that pineapple. Lasts a pretty decent long time, and it's just a great overall pleasant fragrance that I hope you guys look into. So check this one out. 
Namaste guys, Cyfrag Boy Stewie here. Hello Steven. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me in this collaboration video, dude. It means an awful lot to me. I actually have two fragrances that I'm absolutely looking forward to wearing in the high summer heat. The first one is from the house of Mason Francis Kirk John. It's known as Cologne pour le matin, which stands for Cologne for the morning. Fantastic sparkly kind of fragrance, guys. Bergamot and lemon in this fragrance just dazzle. The second fragrance that I'm really looking forward to wearing in the high summer heat is from the house of The Different Company. Yes, that's the name of the perfume house. The Different Company is known as De Bashmakov. So De Bashmakov is actually the name of the creator of that company. The nose behind this fragrance is Celine Elena, who is the daughter of the ever so famous Jean-Claude Elena. Now this fragrance is a minty, uh, citrus kind of fragrance. It reminds me an awful lot of Un Jardin Sur de Nil from the house of Hermes, which ironically enough was created by Jean-Claude Elena himself. So like father, like daughter, <laughs> looks like. Um, but yeah, these two absolutely looking forward to wearing and I um, guess that's pretty much it. Take care guys, next time. Hey guys, what's going on as we're seeing from Handsome Smiles. So the fragrance I'm really looking forward to wearing this summer is the fragrance that I've actually bought this year. Uh, it's been on my to-buy list for quite a while, but it was just out of my budget. But thankfully this year I've been able to get my hands on a decan. Uh, the fragrance is the very popular Aventus by Creed. This is a 50ml decan that I've got this year. I've been wearing this fragrance uh, throughout spring, really have been enjoying it. I'm really looking forward to see how it performs on me in the summer. Absolutely fantastic fragrance guys. I get excellent longevity, very very good projection as well. Has notes of pineapple, blackcurrant, birch and musk. Absolutely fantastic fruity and smoky uh, fragrance. Absolutely fantastic. Really been enjoying wearing this in the spring. And I can't wait to see how it performs in the summer. Anyways guys, this was seen from Handsome Smiles. See you later. Hello, this is Stefan, channel name STKU. The fragrance I'm going to wear the most this summer season is by Giorgio Armani. And it is called Diamonds for Men. Summer 2012 edition. There is also a version of 2010 and 2013, but this is the 2012 edition. This is a um, summer version, a limited edition. It's sadly discontinued. It's close to the original one, but um, the original Diamonds for Men. But this is more um, a summer scent, like the name says. This is a mix of um, aquatic notes, icy notes, and cacao. So it's not your usual um, summer fragrance, but it's a little bit different, but something interesting, yeah. So thank you, Stephen, for this great collaboration. Uh, bye. Hello, everyone. This is Evan with Modern Sense. And first off, I just wanted to thank Greta Lessons for making this really um, awesome video. I think it's a really cool idea, and I'm just really happy to be a part of it. All right, so the fragrance I'm going to be wearing the most this summer is going to be for Pans 1270. I recently picked up this fragrance at the scent bar and when I went there I asked the associate to help me find a summer scent. This was one of the ones he brought out and um, I really liked um, the pineapple in it. I think it's definitely a gourmand scent. It's definitely like a boozy gourmand, um, boozy pineapple. And I think it was just a really cool scent, really unique. Um, it performs really well. And it, you know, the dry down is very, I feel it's very manly. It's, um, it's just a really great scent. It's very versatile, I feel. It's classy and you can wear it, you know, during the day or during the night um, in hot or cold weather. And it's just a really great scent that I'm really excited to wear. So that's the fragrance I'm going to be wearing most this summer. Thank you. Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Kevin. I'm here to tell you what fragrances I'm looking forward to wearing most this summer. One um, designer, one niche. On your left you have Diorum Cologne, and on the right is Tom Ford's and Rolly Pork Vino. These both are new acquisitions for me, and I'm looking forward to wearing them this summer. I also look forward to seeing what anybody else has to pick for their choices. Thank you, Steven, for allowing me to be part of this collaboration, and have a great summer, guys. Hey, guys. How's it going? First off, I'd like to thank Steven from Red Lessons for putting together this collaboration video, revealing what fragrances we just cannot wait to wear for the summer. And this one, I've been so anxious to wear that I've been wearing it during the springtime too and have been wearing it more and more often as the heat intensifies here in Texas. This is the famous Lotus Seaport Ohm by Issey Miyake. This is a, 
amazing yuzu pepper tobacco notes in here that I think can be worn any time during the summer. Just a fantastic fragrance overall. That is, ladies and gentlemen, the fragrance that I have been really anxious to wear this summer. And um, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And thank you again, Stephen, for putting together put this in amazing video. Love your reviews. Take care, and I'll smell you later.